Yo, what's up guys? Welcome to Stain J. Different stars and star systems in No Man's Sky. With the initial galactic map, only a few stars were colored differently, with most of them just being white. The new galactic map, however, displays a majority of stars being colored differently and a decent variety. Some are green, blue, red, and what appears to be a majority of yellow. Sean Murray confirmed the existence of different types of star systems in No Man's Sky, and he specifically made mention of binary star systems. So what do these different star systems hold? Are the planets in their orbit different to others, and so you could only find particular planets within that star system? Early on, Sean said that the color of the clouds in the galactic map would be a reference to the types of materials that could be found in that area. But now that has changed to the different factions that will be found there. So it would be understandable that different types of star systems would be what creates different planetary features. With certain elements found on planets having an effect on the atmosphere and even what is displayed as a sunset, water flow affects the land and how it is formed, then it would make sense that different types of star systems could affect the planet's environment and the animals found on those planets. We have binary star systems and multiple star systems, and this is where three or more stars could be gravitationally connected to one another. And these would create amazing visual feats to planets that could be located nearby. There could be a lack of nighttime on those planets due to the presence of multiple suns. And as such, creatures could exist in a way that is completely different from every other star system. There exists a possibility of no nighttime and therefore no nocturnal creatures. This can affect the harmony of the planet and it could create results both positive or negative. But back to the main sequence stars and the colors that may indicate them. Firstly, the yellow ones. These would most likely be yellow dwarfs. And this is a type of star that we have as our sun. They aren't the most common star in the real universe, but in No Man's Sky, it does appear that way. The red ones could be red giants. And in reality, these are just stars that run out of hydrogen in its core and have begun the process to now grow to 100 times larger than they were initially. The blue ones could be white dwarfs, which are dying stars. The green ones could be protostars, which are stars beginning to take form. But all of this has little to do with the gameplay. And the main question is, will these stars being of a particular type impact the way that star works or the way the planets exist within that solar system? And what will we find that is unique to these star systems? So many people have expressed their desire to fly into the stars to see what will happen. Shall different colored stars result in different outcomes? Or shall people just be flying into a variety of stars, each with no actual benefit from their actions? Are toxic planets only found orbiting red dwarves, and they've had different levels of radiation from that star, and the result is as such? Are the most amazing creatures only found near these multiple star systems? Or is it just as simple as I said before, and these only indicate the resources found there? Again, this is the best thing that Halo Games has done in not revealing this to anyone. It will be information that's shared throughout the community upon release, or information that is revealed when you explore the universe. It is so much better to discover these for ourselves than to know exactly what to expect before we even have the game in our hands. So let me know what you think you'll find in different star systems. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like, share if you did. Be sure to subscribe for more videos. No Man's Sky. Peace.